welcome to its traffic in today's video I will discuss some important programs which may come in in your half daily practical examination for class 10 computer science so first let's come to chapter 4 which is introduction to loops in chapter 4 you will see these programs first uh, write a C program to print your name 50 times 10 times 100 times like this way Sometimes it will directly give you the question like uh, write a C program to print your name 50 times and sometimes it will mention also the type of the loop like using while loop, using do while or using for loop. So you practice with all three types of the loop. After that write a C program to find the summation of n numbers. Like if the user enter 10 then it should be sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. That answer it should print. Then write a C program to find the summation of digits of a number. This one suppose if the user entered the digit as 120 then it should add 1 plus 2 plus 0. Then write a C program to find if a number is prime or not. So these are important for chapter 4. Now let's come to chapter 6 or 5 nested loop. In nested loop, first you will record the patterns. You will see these patterns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and x1 pattern in all the sides. After that, this one 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, then x1 pyramid pattern. Then this patterns increasing order like 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 1. This program you will practice for examination. And also, you will see the find the summation of these programs. I think this. Actually, this program comes under ch chapter 4, 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus n square summation of these numbers. And second one, 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus n cube. So, this program you will practice for, this program you will practice for chapter 3 and uh, 4 and 5. After that, we will come to chapter 6, which is arrays. Here you will see write a program to declare an integer array of size 7 and input the elements from user and print it. Now size somewhere it may mention somewhere it may not mention. So whatever in mentioned in question that one you can write just you will have to write like 4i equal 0 then i less than equal whatever size that one you will write. That much only you will have to do. And uh, next program write a C program to, to declare two arrays and copy the elements of one array to another one and print the another array. Number three, write a C program to find the summation of elements odd or even. Elements then you will add all the numbers whatever is stored inside the array. Odd then you will add only the odd numbers. Even then you will add only the even numbers. So for directly elements you no need to write if part and odd and even you will have to write the if part inside the loop. Number four, write a C program to find the largest and smallest elements of an array. We have already did in our previous videos. You can see from there. Number five, write a C program to accept name of a person and count the number of characters in it. Here you will use strlen function to count the number of characters. Number six, write a C program to input your name and school name in two different arrays and display one after another. Means we'll have to take two characters array. We'll, by using gets function, we'll take the input and by using put functions, we'll display the names. Now, function chapter. From this chapter, you will see this program. Write a C program to add two numbers using function. And this function is used two, three times in your book, for example, for examples and the program is easy also you can practice it easily number two write a C program to find a factorial of a number using recursive function and number three write a C program to find the sum of n numbers using recursive function and number four write a C program to find the square of a number using function so these are some important programs for your examination you can see some more programs which are included in book but if you see this much programs i think it will be enough for your practical exam and you will have to remember some points for your practical exam so whatever program i have given uh, it's not mandatory that these programs will only come in exam 
sometimes some other program also may come but it will be related to these programs i have covered almost all the program which are included in your book so by this ideas you can do that program <clears throat> number two points especially in examination most of the boards they give the question from your book directly from your exercise and examples so you will practice that question more and if you practice more the programs you will be more fluent or you'll be more expert in programming then you will able to easily find out your mistakes and some common mistake like semicolon comma dissolve you will easily able to find out so practice more and you will become more expert in programming so that's all for today's video thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye